Oh! Enemy down. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound like a, a scav shooting. We're gonna pick out trader level 3 weapons, starting from budget and ending with meta. All build prices are without laser and optics. Feel free to pause if needed, builds will also be posted in Discord, link down below. As usual, when picking what gun to shoot, we pick the ammo first. At level 3 traders, your quest lines are mainly on shoreline, lighthouse, and streets. All of these maps have long ranged angles where you'll benefit from high muzzle velocity. And at these long ranges, your bullet will slow down, therefore lowering its pen and damage values. Taking this into consideration, ammo like 855, AP63, and 545PS with already low pen stats will be unusable at long ranges after the penalties. None of these small to medium rounds will be able to one-shot, headshot bosses, guards, or rogues on most of these maps, especially if you have to pen a class 4 helmet. The best rounds to shoot at this stage of the game will be sniper rounds. T46M is our best budget option, unlocked right away at proper 3 with no quest lock. And the gun we're going to be using is the SVT and AVT. The SVT is not locked behind a quest, while the AVT is locked behind a fairly early streets quest that isn't hard to do at all. When it comes to cost, they're about the same. SVT can be bought with 62k rubles, while the AVT is a barter for 2 teapots, which is equivalent to about 60k rubles. The AVT, however, has full auto and comes with a 15 round mag on the house, which is a proper 4 unlock. 750 RPM full auto Mosin rounds makes the AVT absolutely broken for fighting close range. But at ranges further out, the SVT has the option of attaching a Mosin PU scope. So let's say you have a quest on Lighthouse and you have to go to Water Treatment. SVT may be a better choice for that situation. Pick whichever one that fulfills the role you need for the map you're going to. Despite these two rifles being so strong up close that they're practically the best shotguns in the game, while being a semi-auto Mosin at mid to long range, there's a dead zone between these two distances where the gun is at its weakest, because a full auto gun can pump 2-3 to three more rounds head level before your follow-up shot can even leave your barrel. If you prefer fighting at these ranges, go for the Black MP9. With what I assume are recent buffs to the global supply of AP63, it has rarely been going out of stock. While all the parts can be had at trade level 2 at under 70k rubles, this gun was not a recommendation in my previous video due to a lack of availability for ammo. Not only was AP63 a trade level 3 round, it was also always instantly out of stock on reset. However, while making this video, I've noticed AP63 is in stock all the time, so changes had to have been made. I have mentioned earlier, AP63 is a subpar round relative to our larger Mosin rounds, but when you're fighting up close, whatever AP63 lacks, the MP9 makes up for at 1100 RPM. Recoil for SMGs to swipe is non-existent, so what matters is RPM, size, and ergo. The MP9 wins in all aspects relative to other SMGs, second only to the 45 vector. You're primarily going to be aiming for headshots, but if you're having troubles both hitting face or pending bodies, whether it's your aim or lack of opportunity, the 9mm rip is a great choice for leg meta. At 1100rpm, you're shooting a 108 damage round at 18 rounds per second. All you need to do is hit 5 out of 18 and they're a goner. If you require a jack of all trades, these cheaper guns will not do the job. The scoped SVT should be enough against rogues to carry you through unlocking M80, which has been lowered to Peacekeeper 3 after a lighthouse quest completion. To blast the M80, we're going with the SR25. The SR25 is probably our best choice for an every situation gun due to M80 being as strong as T46M, and it has far better ergo, mods, and recoil than the SVT or SVD. Here's our build, which is expensive relative to our previous options, but it's something you should easily be able to afford when you're at this stage of the game. The PRS suppressor combo can replace the Thunder Beast if you have Gunsmith done. The SR25 is a decent competitor for fights at all ranges, just not the king at anything. Our final gun build today is built off of a Mech 3 trade-in for the Shorty SA58. Weapon parts fluctuate on flea from 14 to 20k, so our base build could be anywhere between 112k to 160k. We're going to be adding the Thunder Beast combo for about 50k, and we're dropping the 50 rounder for these 10 20 rounders as it gives us much more ergo. Recoil is very manageable to swipe, so being able to full auto M80 is absolutely broken. This gun fills the exact same role as the SR25 but with a full auto switch, so why even bother with the SR25? The recoil reset feels slower on the SA58, so if your playstyle in semi-auto is waiting for your recoil to reset before taking another shot, the faster recoil reset allows you to have faster follow-up shots, making the SR25 easier to use zoomed in. We can only go by subjective feelings this swipe due to BSG's new stance against data mining, so I cannot 100% confirm if it's my placebo or the SA58 being actually slower. If you feel no difference between the two guns, feel free to run the SA58 over the SR25. Personally, I would pick the SA58 on maps like Customs, Reserve, Interchange, and the SR25 on Lighthouse, Woods, Shoreline. Streets is a mashup that heavily depends on playstyle. There's no perfect gun at level 3. Those guns will only come when you're level 4. As always, thanks for watching. Like, sub, comment, check my other socials down below.